Um, yeah, so I if I if I'm if I'm being uh if I'm being honest, I don't know if I'm actually supposed to be going yet, but I'm going. So uh, welcome to uh, I don't know Eugene's shitty side talks. That's what I'm gonna call it. Yeah, I I mean I feel like I have I even said my name. Well, this is Eugene Dix of Dix in Your Life, and uh, yeah, so this is that uh, little little bit at the end we're gonna do try to do every week. I mean, we'll see if I have anything to say every week. I always have something to say, but um. This week, uh, oh man, I was uh, just like thinking about what I was going to talk about. What, what, what was it again? What the fuck was this rant supposed to be about now? Oh my goodness, Narcane. If you don't know what that is, I, I really, I'm not going to get into it. Like I know what it is, is like the the composition. I don't, I don't know. Um, no, no, no. I, I was bitching about Narcane because I was talking to my sister, who happens to be and she's going to remain nameless, but she's a she's a police officer, and she like was, we were talking about she. She works in a job where they use Narcan and stuff like that, yada, yada. But um, I hate that, uh, and I have friends, um, and I know people that have uh, been saved by Narcan because of drug overdoses, but I feel like it's got to be a rule. It's got to be like a new rule. Like uh, you, after once, like after you get like saved and brought back to life, it's like done. Like that was it. That was your one like saving grace. If you do it again, like they show up and like you have like a bracelet, like a medical alert bracelet, but it just has like fucking like crosses on it. And it just says, oh, no, no, this person got saved once. They're done. And they just get left. Because, like, good people that don't do, like, heroin and shit. I, I, if I drink too much, nobody's going to come Narcane me. Like, that's kind of fucking bananas. Um, so, yeah, just one shot. You get one shot. That's it. And after that, just, like, figure it out. Like, don't do it again. Don't do so much. Do heroin. Just not so much heroin. Do less heroin. And that's, like, for everybody. Just definitely do less heroin. You shouldn't do more. I mean, if you can do none, do none. But if you have to do some, do a little bit. But, yeah, if you do a lot of it, you only get one shot, though. Like, definitely hope that I don't go to EMT school. Because even if they haven't changed the laws, I'll just think that I didn't find you. Like, I'll be like, oh, my God, he was behind that door? Oh, bummer. It's the wrong door. I saw you. I just saw that you like definitely had used this before, and I wasn't going to give it to you again because I was the guy. But uh, but other than Narcan, I guess the only other thing I was going to talk about was uh, kind of an extended thing we talked about in the episode a little bit. Um, I love you, Aunt Bonnie. I did a really good job. I didn't use uh, the C word, but uh, people, stop me in C words. And I mean see you next Tuesday. That one, the big one, the mamma jamma, the one that everybody hates for some odd reason. I, I again, I still don't understand. It's just fun to say, but um, uh, stop being like that to people. Like if you make eye contact with somebody for more than five seconds, and they're like smiling and waving at you and saying like "good morning," you have like you're, you're fucking obligated to say something back. And I don't even care if it's "get away from me, freak," but don't just stare at that person meaning me, and then, like, walk faster away, which is really worrisome. And it makes me look weird. Like, like I, I, I hate it. Like, that happens all the time. Like, you can't be friendly to people that have children anymore. Like, I know a number of people have talked about this, but, like, my neighbor went by with her kid, and, like, she had a smaller kid in a stroller. I said, good morning. How you doing? And she literally just, like, started jogging faster and grabbed her child's hand and, like, ran. And I was, like, in my own head, like, I'm not going to, like, take your kid. You see, like, a white panel van around? Like, I didn't ask if he wanted like a like a, a chip witch. Okay, I just said good morning. Just fucking say hello. That's what fucking neighbors do. I see you walk by every day in your fucking spandex and you're not in good enough shape. Stop. I hate it. It's horrible to have to look at that. Because that's the future for me. Like what if I want to take a Pilates class? That's exactly how my ass will look. Horrible. Really bad. So just don't do it anymore. So yeah, people stop me and see you next Tuesdays. You're welcome, Bonnie. But don't just don't like just, just be nice to people. Even if you're having a bad day, their day's probably worse. Like Joe earlier with that like Filipino lady. Like he wanted cable and she was like, I don't even have a house. I'm making like 10 cents a day. Think about the circumstances. Be nice. Somebody says hello. Say hello back. You see somebody at the grocery store that's like checking you out. Don't not look them in the eye because you have way more money than them. Like they could slip something in there and get you in a lot of trouble. I, I don't know. Or overcharge you for like expensive butter lettuce. You assholes in Manhattan Beach that buy butter lettuce. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's the funniest shit in the world, butter lettuce. I moved to California. They got lettuce that has a root on it still. I mean, maybe they have that in grocery stores in New England. Maybe I was just too poor, and I just didn't pay attention. But butter lettuce is ridiculous. That's a, that's a white person thing, I swear to God. It's got to be. It's butter lettuce. 
Yeah, no, no, we still keep it there so you can bring it home and put your own terrarium and make more butter lettuce. It's fucking great. No, we don't sell this to Pig Wiggly. Uh, only at like uh, places like Gelson's for like five ninety nine for like one leaf. But it's got a root. A root for you. Have a good week, guys. Thanks. Hey, guys and girls. If you take the time to check us out today, make sure to check out all future episodes by following us on Instagram, where you can also find our link tree in our bio, where you'll be directed to our Spotify and YouTube page. Oh, man, I love how how amazing you just did that. That was incredible. You'll be directed right to our page. And again, this is Dicks in Your Life. Thanks for watching. Uh, you heard all of the shenanigans he was just talking about. We're on Spotify, YouTube. You can subscribe on our page. It's Dicks in Your Life. You shouldn't have to search that long. There's not too many. And it's Dicks with an X. Also, yeah, no. don't don't misspell it on Google. You can listen to him interrupt Ooh. me with dumb anecdotes for the rest of the time. Have a good one, guys. Peace out. Can you shut the fuck up? <laughs>